right, welcome, welcome. We are getting close to the end of this regular season. We have a uh, month of August and a month of September to go. Got a lot of games this month to go. And uh, got the Pirates for three, the Reds for three, the Pirates for three. The Reds for two, and then another one on September 1st. So Reds and Pirates are the only two teams we're playing in the division this month. Start with the Mets, and they're under 500. Giants are under 500. Rangers are uh, two and a half games behind us for the best record. Colorado is terrible. Reds are five and a half back. Pirates are six and a half back. So we can pretty much lock down this division um, by taking care of the Reds and the Pirates. And uh, outside of them... It's the Rangers are the only other uh, difficult team on the schedule. So what I will probably do tonight is uh, we just finished the draft. Um, I'll probably pitch. Not think. Probably pitch with Painter, and then. Um, We'll skip this Reds on the road. And we'll probably play at the Rangers. So we'll play the Pirates at home, at the Rangers, and then home against Cincinnati in one of these last two games. So we'll play three full games, sim the rest, try and get through this regular season. Uh, we will play September tomorrow. Uh, Braves and Dodgers. Got Dodgers for six games. And that's the hardest six games we six nine games. So we have a nine game stretch against the Dodgers, Braves. I'm sorry, ten game stretch with the Dodgers, Braves, and Dodgers in the middle of September. That'll be the most difficult. So I'll probably play one of these games at Coors Field to try and put up some stats. And um, maybe we'll play one of these games against the Braves, and then maybe one of these games against the Dodgers. Depends on where our lead is. Um. If we already have the division clinched, we'll probably go play a game at the Cubs. So, anyway, so, uh, like I said, we have the best record in baseball, 69 and 43. Three games over the Dodgers. Two and a half over the Rangers. It's really not even that close, but uh, we're not happy because while our hitting is tearing up, look at these guys. Gorman should go over 100. RBI probably in this first series. Um, Naylor's got a shot at it. Walker should go over. Um, offense is doing their job, but the pitching. Bueller's on the DL. He's still hurt one to two months. Manoa we just got. So Valdez is regressing and not pitching well lately. Bybee continues to go up a little bit across the board, but... You know, he's got 14 wins. He's got his ERA under five, finally. Painter has struggled. 134 hits in 117 innings, so he's that's why I want to pitch with him. And the Cutliff's done well. Um, we sent Tink Hintz back to the minors so he could pitch every day. Romero's pitching well. Matt Sui's pitching great. Outside of Thompson and Miller, we've had a couple of blowups. Romano's on the DL. He's out one to two months. We picked up Duval, who was struggling, and he turned around and uh, gave up three, so he blew a save. So he's he's having a rough. Try and we'll try and get him going. If he continues to not do the job, we'll just stick Matsui as our closer and put Duval as a setup guy. Uh, what do we got down at the minors? This guy, this dude, he's a deep potential, and he keeps going out. He can hit. Dude can hit. Doesn't have a lot of power. This was a guy we drafted with uh, our second pick last year, I believe. Maybe it was the first pick. I can't remember. This guy's a first, number one prospect in baseball. Look at that. He's 93 contact against lefties. Dude is on fire. Um, he won't be in the minors too long. We'll let him get 
over 75 before you bring him up. Pitching wise, these guys down in double A are just killing it. Um, triple A, Kloffenstein's pitching great. Uh, Tink, those are his double A, his triple A numbers. Yeah, why do we have this real lever in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, need to adjust something here. Give me one second. We're going to move Xander Muth to AAA. What's up, FG? How you doing? Welcome in, my band. Give him the AA. And Moda's going to go to single A. Thank you for the resub. 36 months. Look at that. You and Revamp both sitting at 36 months. Getting excited for that new football game, man. I'm I'm like I'm ready. I, I want to get in and uh I want to get in there and uh get the playbooks and do the recruiting and get some gameplay and I wish it was like this week because wife's gone out of town tomorrow morning and I'd have 24 hours every day to play. <laughs> But, yeah, they kind of shit the bed today when they said uh, roster reveal and it was only the top 100 players. That was that was misinformation. That was, that was not good. Where's Muth at? There he is. All right. You're going to be this guy. Oh, we have some uh, guys that we could sign long-term. Duvall, I kind of want to wait and see how he does. Um, he's a free agent, so we don't have to sign him. Um, and Manoa, he's our highest pitcher on the staff right now. He jumped over... Uh, he jumped over Valdez. He's been regressing. So, luckily for Valdez, he has one more year. Uh, Bueller was one of our best pitchers until he got hurt. He's got one more year, and he's he's cheap. Uh, Bybee we got signed for four more years. He's cheap. Um, so I have to decide if maybe Painter has to go back to AAA. Because uh, Painter or Cutliff, one of those two guys going back to AAA when Bueller comes back. So Manoa, we may try to bring back. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, uh, we are not playing these games against the Mets. We have six games against the Pirates and six games against the Reds. Five of the Reds games are in this month, so we won't play the sixth game. But we're gonna play. We're gonna pitch with. Uh, we're gonna play three full games. So we're gonna play this game with Painter. Um, we're gonna go to Texas, and then we're gonna play Cincinnati at home. So we'll figure out who the other pitchers are. But uh, let's get in here. Oh, if you didn't see, FG, I don't know if you saw my draft picks. <clears throat> so we got we got a closer, seventy-seven overall with eighty-nine potential, nineteen-year-old closer already has a sixty-five pitch clutch, and uh, throws four pitches, so not bad. And then we came back three picks later at thirty-one and got this sixty-seven overall, eighty-three potential starting pitcher. And he has a five pitch mix. And then we got this 89 potential, this 90 potential, 83, 81. And this guy's only 73 potential, but he can bat. He's a minor league guy. Just put him in the minors and let him bat. So, anyway, let's get in here and get going. We're going to try and, we're going to play August today. We're going to play September tomorrow. Um, and we'll sim to see who we play in the first round of playoffs. And we will do that first round on Friday. We win that. We'll play the uh, NLCS on Saturday. 
And if we win that, we'll play the World Series on Sunday. So that is the plan. We're going to play every day while the wife is out of town. So, so August today, September tomorrow. The tomorrow will be a day stream, just letting you guys know. Yeah, exactly. I want to get the season over before the football game comes out. So tomorrow's a day stream, um, probably between 10 and 11 in the morning. Um, and then Friday night will be, um, so tomorrow is September. Friday night will be the first round of the playoffs. Saturday, um, I haven't decided if that's going to be a day or a night stream. Well, maybe it'll be, you know, late in the afternoon. We'll see. But that would be the NLCS. And then the World Series would be Sunday. We make it to the World Series. We'll, we'll kick that thing off at noon. We'll start at noon. All right, let's go. Manoa against Frankie Montas. And we win 6-2. to two. Manoa, we pitched with him in his Cardinals debut. He gave up three solo homers and lost. 3-1. to one. But We pounded Montas. Robbie Ray, six innings in relief. Donovan, four hits. Mason win two hits and four ribs, including a home run. Yeah, triple on a homer. There we go. All right. Kodai Senga, who we tried to trade for and it wouldn't let us do it after we already had a trade worked out earlier in the month. Him and Fromber. Come on, Fromber. And we win 10 to 3. Walker, Newt Bar with two, and Contreras with a home run. Much better game by Fromber. Matsui keeps doing it. So if Duvall doesn't work out as closer, we're going to go to Matsui. All right, can we get the sweep? Bybee against McGill, and we don't. Eight to seven, home run by Donovan. Bybee got touched a little bit, and Duvall gives up another one. All right. We can't blow games like this. So Matsui's going to the closer role. That's just the way it's going to be. All right, let's save right there. Oh, do you notice the uh, overlay over the camera? Touched it up a little bit. I got all my overlays for Mizzou for College Football 25 completely done. We have all our backgrounds. You know, stream starting soon. Be right back. Just chatting. Have all those done for Mizzou. And uh, we're ready to go. I will not do Mizzou day one. Um, we'll just pick a random team and just go in and do do the, the scouting and recruiting and just go through all of that. But once I decide to start uh, doing a uh, dynasty with actual gameplay, we're going to do Mizzou first. And once we get to the point where we're, we're done with Mizzou, um, We'll kick off our team builder, which is going to be the Memphis Tech Pharaohs. So, All right. let's get in here and pitch this game with Andrew Painter. Huge game. I didn't check the standings. All right, Pirates are now nine games out. The Reds are six and a half. So we can bury the Pirates if we can take care of them in these six games this month. Same thing with the Reds. We can have an easy September. So, all right, let's get in here and play this game. Full game. We're wearing our City Connect. Hey, let's put them in their City Connect then. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Clear skies. Your painter. There we go. Let's see if I've got my capture card down a little low. Turn it up a little bit. And welcome in, everybody. Okay. Glad you're with us. The All show right. brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Chris, one guy having a big year oh. for this club, leading the team in home runs and runs batted in. Nolan Gorman. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this. We have the best record in baseball. Like that that's so and I'm slightly annoyed so because of our productive. pitching. Here's Nolan. He needs two RBI to get to uh, 100, and we are in the first week of August. So, Let's see if we can get that done this game. Painter, rookie of the year, and then uh, really having a rough season. 
I'd have to throw back-to-back -back no hitters to get his hits below his innings pitched. <laughs> I see me looking over there. I have the Cardinals and Royals game on right now. We're losing six to four in the sixth inning. In a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Ground ball, left side. Slings it go. One up, one down. Now the number two hitter, the designated hitter, Jerry Triolo. And there's the strike. Painter in his second season, 23 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. Where's that curveball? There it is. On the same page as our catcher. Got him. Yeah, FT, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to do a marathon five days in a row to get this season done. If we lose in the playoffs... We'll do the off season for whatever the next day is. Uh, but I've got to get a World Series with this team. They're ready to go right now. That one misses. Three and one. Two outs. There you go. Make a chase. Let's see if we can keep this from getting hit out of the park. We'll see another payoff pitch. And I'll take a single. Better than hitting it over the wall. <clears throat> just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Pete Alonso in the box now. No balls in a strike. Ooh, that was a foul ball, really? Bounce to the left side. They get there we the go. Ball. Easy throw. Out of the win. inning. So left... Back here with my pal Siggy. And towing the slab, Zach Eflin. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans mm, behind them. Right, but let's go. this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. Yeah. So when you have a too early. Like this on your and wait for the pitch. You, and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ball park. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Hey, he's going to make it. Catcher had trouble finding the ball. Hey, we don't have any, uh, eh. Man, maybe I'll move. Hold on. Give me one second. Slide me up. There. Been on it and hit the heel of the glove and just clanked. One of those errors where you kind of can't believe it when you do it. Rudder takes off. That's it for a strike. There you go, Tommy. Get Donovan's clutch engaged. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to Ooh. force the issue whenever they can. A little bit early on that so one. Glad these ballparks have installed the so got sinker cutter. Get out of down. All around the league. Man, it's second. Get, him, get through. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Well, he kept a run from scoring, but we got uh, an infield hit, and we got two guys on. And nobody out. And Mr. Clutch himself, Josh Naylor. He's looking for a 100 rib season, too. Yeah, 68 right now. Yeah, jump on these guys early. I know the game tries to screw you, so you got to get on on the board early and often. Ugh. The 
He threw it away. Wow. Oh, and Donovan broke. Donovan's hurt. He broke something. Bad bruise. Broken metacarpal. So he's out with a messed up hand. One of our best players. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, let's put in Victor Scott. So because of the injury, a replacement needed at third. Pinch running here. Number 13. Oh, we have Still gotten major bad luck with injuries this, this season. We've got three pitchers on the DL for anywhere from one to three months. It's our first regular player with an injury. Hopefully it's just a bruise. Come on, Nolan. At least it wasn't a double play. All right, Jordan. He's got 86 ribs. And that's a double play. Good. There's one. Well, and that's two. So it's one run on one base. You get on the board. And one left. It's on the inning number two. So coming into the game now on defense, number 13. He'll be out in left field. O'Neill Cruz leading things off and takes a strike. Next offer is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to find There we go. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Brian Reynolds here. There's a strike. Painter, the rookie of the year from a year ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider. A See if he likes that curveball. There we go. Swing and a miss. Swinski has homered off us in the past. Ah, that's my spot. That's ball two. Singing, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away. And down. Come on. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. There's the automatic. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The hitters count the 2 0. A big swing and a miss. Popped up to Come on, the Nolan. Dig, 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 dig. Get there. All right. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors. And we're back. Down the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Ground ball. Be patient, man. He'd be swinging at that crap way out on the outside half. DJ Blood, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah. Let's go Newt. He's hitting 351. He does not think, I don't think he has enough ABs to qualify for the batting title, but we will see. Back it through. Nope. Not being patient at all. Let's go. Wake up, man. I'll definitely take at least one. That one's in there. One, one. The there we go. Takes the ball. Roll that over. He has the speed, but O'Neill has an arm, so there we go. It is what it is. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Tyler 
I forgot Pittsburgh traded for Soderstrom. That one catches the zone, and it's 0 1. Lifted in the air down the left side. We'll have much better defense with Scott out there. And there's one down. Now batting key, Brian Hayes. And that's going to bleed through. Just kind of slice that one into center. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. On the ground to the left. There's one. And there's two. Defense helping out. All right. Offense needs to uh, get it going here. Two errors have helped us out. And keep hitting the ball right at first and right at third. Toss to Alonzo. One up, one down. Come on. Back to the top of the lineup. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Good Tommy struck out last time and got on base on a wild pitch. And this is going to be a warning track shot. Welcome, Inspecta. How you doing? Hey, Specta, you missed the beginning of the stream. We're going to stream August today. September, August tonight. September tomorrow day. First round of the playoffs Friday night. If we win that, go to the NLCS, we'll do that Saturday. And if we win that and go to the World Series, we'll do that Sunday. So I get this whole season done before college football comes out. Totally missed my spot. There we go. Not getting in a rhythm. There we go. Mason's got a cannon, and Soto was out by a mile. He's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. On the ground right side. Boots it. Throw to first. Wow. He took forever to pick that fucking ball up, and we we're lucky to get that out. Here's O'Neal Cruz. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Cruz. It is sixth season. 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Good God. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two, strike. two down, nobody off. Here in game one of this three game set. On the ground, out to short. All right. Pitching well with Painter. Got to get this offense going, man. We only have one hit. They only have two. Luckily, we scored on ours. Should have had way more than one. I mean, Gorman hit a rocket down the first base line, and Alonzo snagged it. It's just an easy fly ball. Has this one sized up? He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Now back up for St. Louis. Nolan Gorman. Hey, Nolan. We need two ribs out of you for 100. That takes low for ball one. One out. Base is empty. Wish Eflin was pitching this well for my uh, fantasy team this year. In the air. Pretty deep out to center. Yeah. Not hitting the ball well. Wind's blowing in pretty strong. We're going to have to get uh, singles and doubles to win this game. Now a chance for Jordan Walker. And there's the strike. On one. Mm. He was late. Oh, ran in on me. Line drive. Drop. 
Oh, God, by him. That's three. That's a triple for sure. This is Victor Scott. It'd be an inside the park home run. All right. Soto dives and misses. Lucky for him, there's two outs. All right, Nolan. And swing a lot of outside pitches with Arenado. We need something more of the middle of the plate, man. Like that, and then we miss it. Two outs. And another ball. We had Lars on deck. Ah, don't swing at that shit. Come on, man. Ball three. And it's an easy out. It's one of those games. Ready now for the fifth inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, you know, these count. Pirates need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority. Yep, keep hitting that ball to third base and shortstop. That works for me all day long. Extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. That one ripped. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Never a doubt. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through. It's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. The Redbirds up by a run over the top of the fifth. Next offering is this guy lit me up last year a couple of times. See if we can get this up and in. Ooh. Guy right there. It's a good take. I'm gonna throw another one. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That would have been a strike to Alonzo, but it wasn't to him. Back here in St. Louis, All right, Lars, let's go. Lars a swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one. There's a rocket. That's a double. There we go. Another extra base hit. Only got a guy in scoring position with less than two outs. All right, Mason. Ah, I rolled over. I'm trying to hit that ball to the right side. Get that guy to third with less than two out. All right. Let's be a little patient here. He's fine. And it's one and one. Watching the Cardinals game over here. We got second and third and nobody out in the seventh. Down by three. Donovan hit a double. Cardinals are playing the Royals on my TV. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Oh, man. Get a man on second base with nobody out, so we can't even get him to third base. All right, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. Dude drove in 100 runs last year, and he's not even coming close this year. Yeah, 49. Yep. Lazy play ball. All right, we got to flip the hat around. Need a rally hat. Go to the top half of inning number six. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler the foul. Lifted foul. That misses. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes, now. And two ball, another ball. Two strikes. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. 
and now the tying run is in the scoring position. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Hayes at the plate now, and that's inside. Swing and a miss, strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between. Oh, that got him on the mound. The lack of urgency on the defense, that's twice this game. And now he just got hit in the head and he has to come out. What the fuck? We've already lost two guys to injuries. Lucky for us, we're in the sixth inning, so uh, Painter could uh, get the win if we can hang on here. Got to get through this inning first. And that's in for a strike. So the lead runner in second, Hayes. On at first with two down. There you go. City Fly, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Ah, fuck me. God damn it. Guy's got 99 speed and I'm popping the ball up. Come on, Josh. Does he even have 50 pitches? Am I swinging at everything? Yo, Gorman is fighting with Corbin Carroll and uh, Shohei Otani for the MVP in the National League. Very, very tight race right now. Come on, Jordan. You got a triple pass Soto last time. Let's see if we can park one this time. I'll take a single. Two out rally. Come on, Nolan. Base hits a run. There we go. Should have threw the ball third base. All right. Big ribby there by Nolan. Trying to get him a uh, World Series title with the Cardinals before he leaves at the end of the year as a free agent. Carmen Mladzinski. Come on, Newt. Let's go, let's go. Nice slurve. Dropped that shit right in there, didn't he? Go. All right. Base hits another run. Extra base hit will be two. I'll take that single. There we go. Three nothing. Check this lead so Painter can get a win. And then we have to see how bad Donovan and Painter are injured since they both left early. Ah. Oh well. And that is the inning. So it's two runs on four hits. 
All that was with two outs. Yo, loving all these ground balls tonight. It's going to be a foul ball. All right, two down. Boys and girls, we are cruising tonight. Pitching really well. Bats finally woke up. Let's see if we can finish off this inning. I just want to say, I had Mason Miller on the Cardinals first. It can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. <laughs> There we go. There we go. First pitch swinging again. Makes the catch for the out. Wind is blowing in pretty strong from left center, so need to hit line drives, not fly balls. Go shit like that, but oh, he dropped it. Must have short hopped him. Yeah, I missed the animation. What's up, tight spot? How you doing, man? Tight spot. We're playing the month of August tonight. We're going to do the month of September tomorrow late morning. We're going to do the first round of the playoffs Friday night. If we win that, we'll do the NLCS on Saturday. And if we win that, we'll play the World Series on Sunday. So we can get the whole season finished before we... Uh, Get the college football game. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Number 13 in now takes ball one off the plate. Edmund leads off first with one. Five straight days of Cardinals baseball. Look at that. That's the second time we hit a fly ball with this dude. He has no power. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Josh Naylor. Next up for the Cardinals. We're going to send Tommy. Rudder takes off. There's a ball. It's his second steal of the game. Now Naylor's clutch will kick in, so hopefully we can drive him in from second base here with two out. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. And that's all all two. Got Gorman on deck. Gorman's two ribs away from a hundred. Nope, ground out. On the ground right side. Throws the first in time. Third out, and that ends the frame. So one left for the Cardinals, but they're on top by All right, we're gonna take Miller out. We're gonna bring in JoJo. He has a uh, quick inning. I'll just leave him in for the ninth. He gives up a run at all. We'll use Matt Suey in the ninth. Or if he has to throw, you know, like 
15 pitches to the other center. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, nope. that closer's coming in. Fouls it off. Play. One and two. I'm a slider. Easy ground ball to win. Cannon arm. Zips it across. That's one away. Easy out. The leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, Boog, we talked about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Once you can get him on the slider. Just flips that down the line. Up and in fastball. There we go. We'll start Hayes with the change up. Down and away. We're going to double up and throw another one. Same place. Maybe a little more outside. Now he's coming up and in with a fastball. Let's see if we can get him to chase this ball. Yep. Slider down. No. Step off the mound. It's not the pitch I wanted. Slider down and in. Throw it off his back foot. Easy grounder. What the? F himself a really nice game at the plate. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still That was a game mechanic. I'm moving my guy. That's an easy ground out to second base and it fucked me again. Have I done the Jeter storyline? No, not at all. Um trying to finish off Team Affinity, but I haven't touched the storyline. I've only done a couple of the the Negro League guys as well. I've been uh, too busy playing uh, franchise, so done decently well collecting cards, but I never play anybody online. But Jeter was not my necessarily one of my favorite players growing up. I liked A Rod more. Wouldn't even say growing up. I would say in my what 30s and 40s. <laughs> Get over his head. Get over his head. Oh. Soto makes the play. Two away. Two out. Space is empty. All right, Nolan. Let's take a pitch. There we go. Swing at every pitch. Next offering way upstairs. Come on. Hang one. Arnado's got one rib today. There we go. I'll take that hit. Hammered up the middle. Losing some power against righties, but he still has pretty good contact. So. All right, Newt. You're two for three. Let's go three for four. Man, no. All right, off to the ninth. And uh, 17 pitches, so we're going to go. Oops. We're going to go bring in Matsui. Close this game out. And a pitch. Out towards right center. That's and it's belted well into the gap for a double. That one outs against the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. Good and thing is he doesn't have a ton of speed, so. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. In the dirt. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. The one one. Foul ball there. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Bounce to the right. Gorman. Right, one down. Run doesn't matter as long as we get three outs. He's two outs away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz. First pitch, and he just Cruz is like 
Ellie De La Cruz. The Bills suck against left-handed pitching. Next offering is fouled back. Run around at third, one gone. Swing and a miss. And you like that? I'll throw you another one. <laughs> yep. How about you, Reynolds? Rounded a short win with a cannon. There we go. And that's a winner. That's a winner. The season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running. Woo! Out in this one, three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. All right. I had Pitts Pittsburgh like 10 games back. No home runs. It was a wind. But Painter pitched five shutout innings before he got comebacker off his head and had to leave the game. Miller did great. Two perfect innings with two Ks. The lefties did their job. Matsui's first save as a Cardinal because Duvall, who we just picked up, ended up getting uh, taken out of the roll. Two hits for Walker, Arnado, and Newt Bar. All right. Oh, one to two weeks for Painter. God damn. That's our second starting pitcher. Third pitcher. And Donovan broke his hand and he's out one to two months. There's our injured list. That's Painter. That's Donovan. I know my camera's in the way. This is our AAA first baseman who's out for the year. Walker Bueller's three to four weeks away. In year Cano's two to three weeks ago, eh? And our closer is out for one to two months. So, yeah. So we've got four pitchers injured and our starting left fielder. Depending on what happens when um, I had contusion, he should be able to go. Worst case is, if he can't go that day, we'll start uh, Mason Miller. But losing Donovan one to two months, why is he not on the DL? Yeah, there he is. It just doesn't say it didn't give him. I guess we have so many icons. All right, Burleson, Edmund, Scott, Walker, Wynn, Arenado. These three guys, Naylor. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, nine. 10, 11, 12. We don't need 14 pitchers. And although I think it's going to go with 14 pitchers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we need to bring up somebody. All right. Have a good there. Good there. Mm hmm. Don't bring that. He's already up. This was our first round pick last year. He's not ready. He's out. All right. Who do, who do we bring up? All right. Let's go to the 40 man. Siani, Corrali, Baker's hurt, Burleson's up, Church, give us another outfielder, 
decent defense. So I guess Nathan Church is going to get the call. And it'll be his Major League debut when he first plays. All right, so what are we going to do here? Um... Hmm. Put new bar. Oh, there, there. Nailer there. Win. Contreras. Burleson's going to go there. And he's going to play DH ball walker plays left. I'll flip those two. You know what? I'm going to push him up there and break up all these lefties at the top of the order. Now, against lefties, It's left these will play Scott. Does he got the arm? 77. 99. And put you there, there, there. We'll put Scott at the bottom. All right. All right, that puts the Pirates 10 games back. The Reds are seven and a half back. And the Dodgers are still two and a half games behind us for uh, best record in National League. And Texas is a game and a half back. Best record in baseball. All right, auto fix. Keep going. All right. Do we have any empty roster spots? Yeah, we do. All right, let me go pick up somebody. Play in the minor leagues. Um, Mm -hmm. No, I don't want you in the majors. I want you in triple A. Yeah, we'll sign Shrek and put him in the minors. Okay. Cutliff against Libertor. Lefty on lefty. Let's sim that and hopefully Cutliff pitches great again. And he does. We win 12 to 1. Libertor got hammered. Walker, Gorman, Sejacian win with homers. Nolan Gorman, five ribs. That gives him 103. Walker with four ribs. Cutliff, complete game. Five hitter, two walks, seven Ks. He's uh, our first first round pick that we took in this fr uh, franchise. 
It's his rookie season. Threw a three-hit shutout on, on his uh, Major League debut. And then he's been getting crushed in the sim. So, And the Reds lose. So now we have a seven-and-a-half game lead on the, on the Reds in the division. All right. Can we get the sweep? Yes, we do. And it is... Shutout combined, Manoa, Sandlin, and Matsui. Manoa's pitched great since we got him. So JC with a home run. And now we have an eight-game lead on the Reds, 12-game lead on the Pirates. 74 and 44. Two-and-a-half game lead on the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. Gorman. 37 home runs, 104 RBIs, hitting 317 with about eight, seven weeks, eight weeks to go. Walker's hitting 291. He's going to drive in 100, might get 30. Naylor's got an outside shot at 100. Manoa, we might have to re sign him. Might have to re sign him and, uh, ship out even though he's been pitching well for us he's uh, going down he's a 79 overall he's not making a whole lot which would make it easier for us to trade him although valdez is older i'd rather keep the lefty now give us one two three four five bullpen at Matsui 066. All right, Giants Valdez and Hicks. Now, Valdez did win there against Kodai Senga, so let's see if we can keep the uh thing going. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six out of seven, seven out of nine, and seven of our last nine. All right, here we go. And it's a one nothing win. Hicks pitched well. Three hits shut out by Valdez. That's what we're talking about. Back-to-back -back shutouts. Look at that. No runs allowed. One run allowed. No runs. No runs. I was bitching about the pitching when we started the stream. And these guys are uh, doing work here in August after playing like shit. And... Uh, June and July. All right. Bybee against Whitman. Five to one. We've given up two runs in the last five games. Yeah. Isak Paredes with a home run. Gorman and Wynn with home runs. Bybee, seven shutout innings. So Bybee, no runs allowed. Valdez, no runs allowed. Manoa, no runs allowed. Cutliff, complete game only allowed one. Painter, no runs allowed. So that's the only run that we've allowed as a starting pitcher in the last five games. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It says Mason Miller's going to make this start. And Painter is still not ready. So. All right. Well, let, we'll, we'll sim. We're going to play one of these games at Texas. And then we're going to play one of these two games against the Reds down here. We're going to sim the rest of these games. We're just going to cruise through this month. Um. I don't want to have a three and a half to four hour stream tonight. So we're, we're playing three full games. We're going to cruise through these and uh, we should have a little bit easier September. If you didn't, weren't here earlier, September, we have one game against the Reds. And then we have a stretch here where we play um, 10 days. We have C one, two, three, seven games against the Dodgers and three against the Braves. But the rest of the month, we've got the lowly, um, Nationals, the lowly Cubs, the lowly Rockies, and the lowly Padres. So, easy month of September, except for this 10-day stretch. So, all right, here we go. Mason Miller. And we win 5-2. to two. Home run by Newt Bar, Wynn, and Burleson. Miller only gives up two. Bullpen doesn't give up any. Duvall gets a win. He finally pitched decent. All right, that's six, seven, eight, nine out of our last ten games. Here's Cutliff again, and we win eight to two. 
Edmund, Ringifo, Wynn, and Walker with home runs. Two runs for Cutlip. He's now 8-6 and six with a 468, so he's working hard to bring that ERA down. It's a 10-game winning streak. Or nine out, nine out of our last 10, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of our last 11. Seven wins in a row, 10 of our last 11. Let's save before something happens like the power goes out or some shit. All right. Royals, Manoa. We lose, finally lose, 5-3. to three. Bobby Witt with a home run. Hey, Manoa's pitched well since we got him, so I can't complain. All right, Fromber, can you do it again? Yes. As a minor leaguer, Fromber only gives up one. Mason Wynn with a two-run homer was the only runs we had. Valdez pitched great. ERA's closing in on four now, 13 wins. Matsui has four saves on this stream alone. <laughs> We have an 11 and a half game lead on the Reds. Four game lead on the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. All right. Can we win the series against the Royals? Yes. And Andrew Painter is no longer injured. Donovan's not ready to come back. We win three to two. Garcia with a two run homer. Newt Barr and Walker with home runs. Matsui gets the win because we had a walk-off. Jordan Walker must have hit a walk-off home run. <laughs> After we gave up two in the ninth, Walker walks it off. All right, 80 and 45, guys. 80 and 45. We have a five-and-a-half game lead on the Dodgers. Goodness. <laughs> All right. So we've already pitched with Painter. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play this game with Cutliff. Andres Castro and Chris Cutliff both went in the very first draft that we had in this franchise. Castro went second overall, and Cutliff went seventh. So it's a battle of the first round picks. All right. Can Painter beat Lodola? We don't need Painter there. Hold on. It's going to push everybody back a day. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Painter coming off the DL. And five to nothing shutout. Nolan Gorman, two home runs, seven and a third. That gives him 12 and a third shutout innings on the stream today. He's 99. ERA is closing in on five. Doval gets the save and gets his ERA under six. Now we have a 12 game lead on the Pirates, 12 and a half on the Reds. And Nolan Gorman has 40 home runs and 110 RBI, and we are still in the middle of August. <laughs> wow. Walker's hit four home runs since the last time I saved. Good Lord. All right. Corbin Carroll is still number one on the MVP because he's hitting 358, and he has 40 homers and 100 RBI. <laughs> Dude needs to slow down. Corey Seager leads in the American League. Bybee is leading for Cy Young because he has 15 wins. Rookie of the year. So JC really in part-time play has gotten onto the top three. If he sneaks out the rookie of the year, we get another first round pick. <laughs> and that's the dude we had. We traded for him. And then we shipped him off to get Matsui from the angels. Let's save here before we get in here and play this next game. Turn the fan on. It's getting a little muggy in here. <clears throat> oh, 
man, I am back to working out every other day. Worked out today. Went on a mile and a half walk with the wife and the dogs and then worked out for an hour. So we are back on track to uh, get back in shape. Last two years have been a fucking nightmare. All right. Cutliff and Castro. The two first round picks. Same draft. Reds. Let them wear their normal. We will wear our normal. Actually, do we have a blue hat? Overcast, Cutliff. Castro's a lefty. That's fine. There we go. We brought Henry Davis back up when we traded for Manoa. We traded them uh, Ivan Herrera so he could go be the starting catcher for the Blue Jays. From Great American Ballpark in and uh, brought Davis back up, MLB and he's out of the NL actually higher rated than Contreras, uh, but I'm going to let them split time down the stretch here. Contreras is regressing. He's going to make 17 mil next year, so it's very possible in the offseason we ship Contreras off somewhere else, sign a backup catcher, and, uh, get rid of that 17 mil. It would help us to afford Manoa. All right, Tommy. Tommy likes lefties. As I said, he likes lefties. <laughs> Take that leadoff double. Let's go. Whenever the Cardinals play a team that has red as their primary color, they wear the navy blue hats. Everybody else, they wear red. And now, there's a line drive to left field. Steer pulls that one down. Let's calm down. Quit swinging at the first pitch on every batter. Here's Josh Naylor. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently. Currently owns a seven-game hitting streak. That's in there. It's okay. Strike one. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. On the ground the first, Noda. Man, that wasn't the last batter. And he takes it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. All right, Nolan. Let's go, buddy. Here's Nolan Gorman. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Cardinals lost over on my TV to the Royals. They uh, they lost a doubleheader today. Day-night doubleheader. That's outside. Okay. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Three now. Good pitchers make. That'd be a good pitch. Right down the pipe. With the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position. He's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. So now two on. Right. Take the walk, cause Win loves to hit against lefties. Wasn't even much to think about. Mason Win next up for the Cardinals. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Right through there for a strike. He's got 80 power against lefties. Get through. That's going to be an infield hit and RBI. There we go. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Jordan Walker next up for the card. All right, Jay Walk, let's go. He's blowing left to right. And that's going to be at least a double. Yep, into the corner. One run's going to score, and we're going to hold the other guy at third. All right, second and third, two outs. Come on, Nolan. 
Here's Nolan Arenado. That's off the mark. He's a much better power hitter against lefties, much better contact hitter against righties. Oh, swung under it. Moved my uh, PCI and dipped it underneath. That's a rope right at the bag. All right, two-run lead in the first. Good way to start. Here's our boy Chris Cutliff. Totally off on me. We'll have to put up a nice inning on offense. Got some runs. On my timing. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shut down. Come on, Tommy. You got time to get there. Up against the wall. And holds it in. Ryan Noda, the next to hit. Not close with that one. Ball one. Noda, a former All Star, 31 years old. They traded for him earlier this year. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Spencer Steer now at the plate. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Bounce to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. They fired it quickly. Come on. First and second with only one away. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get beat. Noda at second. Steer over at first with one away. Has some trouble with it. God damn! Get off the ground and pick the ball up. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And the batter now, Stone Garrett. Yeah, ball one to the right fielder. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That one down the line, and it's just foul. That was close. Left field. He's under it. Makes the grab. Runner counts for third. He'll score on the side fly. It's 2 1. Yeah, if we can hold him to one, that'll be good. There we go. All right. Pitched around some bullshit, but got it done. Back here in Cincinnati. Top of the second. Here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. That one's in there. One, on. one strike. Line drive for short and I'm gonna adjust something on my stream title. You feel like you've done everything right, but in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now, number 13, going one. One down, base is empty. Pop Drop. The Drop. There we go. Now we can steal second. Tommy Edmond at the 
ahead. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Go save. Better throw and he's out. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Dives. What a play! And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors. I thought that ball was down for sure. Oh, there was no way he was going to catch that ball. So one advantage we have with Scott being out there instead of Donovan, we got somebody that has wheels, great defense, great reaction, pretty good arm. Hey, it's Paul Goldschmidt, guys. I didn't realize he was on the Reds. Foul ball. Goldie grounds out to Arenado. Two down. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And now it's Esteban Floria. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs, base is empty. Comes up empty. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to. What's up, Starkey? Welcome, welcome in. Hello, hello. Yes, I am. I've already purchased. We just got to wait for it to download and for it to go live. I will be live on uh, Monday at 3 p.m. Central Time. There we go. Yeah, game's already purchased. Just got to wait for it to preload and uh, go live. So Monday we will be... Uh, Diving in hard on the uh, recruiting. We're just going to pick a team. I don't care how uh, how they do. We're just going to pick a team. And uh, we're going to sim the games so we can get it done faster each week. And we're just going to go through recruiting process and check everything out. PS5. Here we go. Gifo. Come on, Josh. Got him in. Scoring position again. Yeah, Good pitch. Good pitch. Yeah, my uh, YouTube viewers prefer my college football way over my uh, baseball. Whatever. I get burned out playing the football, so I had to switch to baseball for a while. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that. Oh, pitch. fuck me. That was a terrible pitch. Hey, I believe it's supposed to be Saturday. It'll automatically download. I don't have to do anything. Get that double and then we dick around. Look at this crap. Need to look at that pitcher's clutch. Let me go back to hit again. No, we are not going to dive for that because that'll be an inside the park home run. What if they're looking to be aggressive and got something he can handle? Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. Stayed balanced through the entire swing. Just launched that one into center. And now let's see if they pull some action with good wheels on the bases. 
There we go. Yeah, great Trump. It's okay. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here. Early. There we go. We can chase. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that. There we go. Walker, just enough reaction to go get that. All right, two to one after three. All right. His pitching clutch is only 60. It's better than his hits per nine. All right, Jay Walker, catch the in the inning. See if we can tattoo this baseball. Nice pitch. Well, the big play, in my opinion, from right field is that throw from right field to third base. The longest one in the game, and you've got to have a pretty strong arm. Hopefully, he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Way out in front. Come on. We'll look inside. There you go. Two and, two and two. Well, this is a guy that Gotta work that pitch count. We've been swinging at way too many pitches to start each at bat. And I work this guy. I think he has a decent. Uh, he has decent stamina. I don't think that's going to get there. It's a warning track shot. Hit it too high. All right, Nolan, let's go. Oh, we got under it. All right, Henry, you need to take some pitches here. It's a pitch I want to swing at, but we got to take some pitches. We make this guy work. Unless he's going to just put that right down the middle of the plate. All right, two out single. Scott has no power. Try and get a line drive base hit with him. He's looking for Henry Davis's speed. Catcher. Gotta love catcher with 71 speed. Whips it to first. And that will end the inning. Back here at Great American Ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stone Garrett, first pitch misses. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Started to swing. No swing, really? Change up now. Really 
good take, especially with two strikes. First time we throw in the curve all day. And a pitch. There we go. Curveball sets up the four seamer up in the zone. See if he likes the curveball. He does. Got that way over the middle of the plate. Lucky that stayed in the park. Here's the catcher, Logan Driscoll. Little chopper rolls foul. The Reds down by a run here in the second game of the series. And fouled off. That was so I could throw in this. Got him. Struck out the side. Mia Fool, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right. Let's get this offense going. Started out strong. We haven't done shit since the first inning. You know, these cards doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They have yet to strike out, drop. and they're nope. averaging more than a hit for any. That's a great recipe for success right there. Now up for St. Louis, All right. Luis Rangifo. Rangifo doubled last time. First Trying for a second ball. double there. One down, base is empty. That'll be a single. Take that. Josh Naylor next up for the Cardinals. He's got the power, but great contact skill from the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And 98 contact against lefties. Doesn't have as much power, but he's got great contact against lefties, sir. That shows you a lot about his patient here. Pitcher. It's at 46 pitches. Oh, it was late. In position. And there's two down. So now here's the DH. Nolan Gorman. Hit left field base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. All right, Mason. You've got the power against lefties. Let's go. Ooh, what a pitch. That was an excellent pitch. Mm, trying to shoot that to right. Ooh, we got it inside the bag. Let's go. We're going to hold up at second base. We'll take a single, but it's an RBI because Rinkifo scores. Wow. Tomahawk the shit out of that right inside the bag. There we go. Let's go, Jordan. We had an RBI earlier. He's trying to hit one down third. There we go. That's a hit. Coming home. Now a long throw home. Safe. Win goes to third. Should have gave up the run and throw him out at third base. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice. Nice job.
He's trying to get the walker. Never mind. No way he hits it that well if he hits around the baseball ball. Lifted in the air, right field. All right. Double the lead. Let's go. Four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the. We head to the bottom of the fifth. In now for the Reds, Estevan Florial. And that's in for a strike. Well, after score runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The lefty fires. Got him. Make him chase. I think that's four straight strikeouts, if I'm not mistaken. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ellie De La Cruz. The shortstop takes the ball. So here's a fun note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. The pitch. On the ground to third. Fires over to first. Good to keep him off the base paths. Got to keep this guy in the ballpark. I wanted to go. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attack hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is going to treat to watch. A little out front there as he swings through it. The Cardinals leading by three. Last half of inning number five. That's outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Chopped out in front of the plate. There we go. And throws the first. And the Reds go one, two, three. Wasn't expecting that curveball in three and two, was he? And they trail it 4 1. Hunter Harvey on the pitch here. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Mm. Stepping in, Henry Davis. Right, Davis, we need you to hit well against righties because we could slip you in the lineup for sure against righties if you start hitting better. And it's fouled away. Unless we make a major move, Davis is probably our starting catcher next year. Move Contreras. We could shed about almost 50 million off the payroll by getting rid of Contreras and Arenado next year. To that slider broke now, hard now. out of the zone and he just couldn't hold up Victor. the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but it's you don't want drop. to run up by the umpire. At the play, number 13, and it drops in. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Back to the leadoff spot. Of course, we're gonna send him. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmund. Here goes the runner. They pitch out. Still can't throw him out. See <laughs> the best way to catch this guy might be on replay. Yeah, and sometimes it's the only way to catch him, dude. I mean, you see that sprint speed on staff. Runner on the goal again. Pitch outside. And he's out trying for three. Did not get a good jump. That's all right. It was a one or two run game. I wouldn't have done that, but. I was being greedy. I was trying to get him to third base so we could knock him in. He'd have scored on that. That's okay. That curveball has been nasty. We didn't throw it for like the first three innings. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. 
Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Who you wanted to go? Slider, but they've not been able We're both playing the Reds. You're playing the Reds, too? Yeah, I got a couple of buddies here on Twitch that are Reds fans. There we go. So I can't talk too much shit about them. I'll talk shit about the Cubs all day, though. <laughs> Ain't that right, Spectre? The scrubs. Oh, Jimmy likes the Cubs, too, don't you, Jimmy? Man, Cutliff is just... Blowing these guys away. <laughs> Probably going to take him out after this inning. He's already thrown 90 something pitches. We're in the sixth inning. I don't want to blow a really good start. Ooh. Yo, normal guy. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right, I think Cutliff's done. He threw 95, 97 pitches or whatever in six innings. So we'll let him step out with a one, one run allowed on the day and get somebody else in there. A lot of strikeouts. That's why his pitch counts up. Links and loud by chance. What kind of link are you talking about? He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now at the plate, Josh Naylor. In the first pitch, he's on first. Misses for ball one. Moretta. In his sixth season, he features a four seam fastball, a two seam, a slide, ah. and he works in a changeup. Get the pitch up. One one. Next offering misses down and away. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Sam Bowl getting loose out there. Jabot getting cranked up as well. Come on. Ring Hifo on at first. Nobody out. Nah. Nope. Not selling anything. Ah, the play. Not selling anything. Especially if it's followers and shit like that. That'll get you banned immediately. <laughs> Come on, Gorman. Let's go. Ah, oh, trying to shoot that to the left. It should be waiting for a pitch to drive. Hardy. Hardy. Come on. Yeah, that would be a no. Unless you want to get banned, you can go ahead and post it. Ooh, ooh. So close. Stay alive. And it remains three and two. He's already up to promote the site. No, I'm not promoting anybody else's site. We're in here to watch me play and talk, chit chat. Nope. Don't care about anybody else's website. If I promote a site, that's one thing. All right, bullpen. Let us. Uh, where are you at? Seventh? We'll go to JoJo. We're not going to dick around with Thompson.
Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to win. There's one. Oh, wow. I thought he was safe. I thought he was safe. All right, I'll take the call. I will give him credit for asking first, so I appreciate the uh, courtesy of asking first. Otherwise, it would have been an immediate ban. Matt the Fat Man. Welcome in, man. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Two strikes here. I love it. <laughs> Order Niners in here. George. Welcome in. George with the band. There you go. I'm doing good. How are you, man? Trying to uh, polish off these reds. Welcome in, 49er. All right, so we got training a guy. Hey, it'd be a lot worse things to do training somebody. You know what? What's up, George? Welcome, welcome. When I was uh, I was doing a contract job for a hospital here in town, and they were redoing their whole website, and I was part of the uh, um, team that was testing and uh, redoing some widget things on their site and all that stuff. And so we would do all of our work and um, then we would have to wait for the other programmers to get stuff done. So there'd be, I don't know, four or five days in a row where I'd just show up and do nothing. And so I would just sit on YouTube and watch this guy named Bobby Crosby play uh, his Road to the Show character with the Dodgers on uh, easy mode seeing how many home runs and how high of an average he could hit and i just sat there and watched him play for four or five days and got paid for it so <laughs> i feel you man sometimes it gets really boring you gotta do something to pass the time right george how you doing dude we've got thursday friday saturday sunday not not five days. We have less than five days. Oh, we got under it. Less than five days. What, the guy that was playing MLB? Yeah, he was good. But he was playing on rookie. He was playing on rookie. On purpose. Because he just wanted to see how many home runs he could hit. And he found out that once you... Once you reach like 120 something home runs, it resets your number. It didn't count. They never figured anybody would hit more than that in a season, so it just resets back to zero, and you had to add whatever his final total was up to. It keeps track of it on his career stats, like his career total, but the season stat gets reset. <laughs> it was fun. I had fun watching them play. He is a, he's a Dodger. You won't like him because he's a Dodger guy, right, George? He's a Dodger season ticket holder. He sits out in the left field bleachers, and he catches home run balls. Security dispatcher? I saw a job for that today. I was looking uh, online, looking at some jobs, and there was one where you monitor people's uh, security cameras and stuff and buzz people through gates and, and all of that. All right. He only threw 10 pitches. We can leave him in for now. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to get the hospital. Because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. What was that? <laughs> what the hell swing was that? You like that? Let's see if you'll chase over here. He did. Hey, George, I'm um, back to working out, man. Got to drop 20. Finally, uh... Nothing's hurting other than the arthritis in my left thumb. And that's just going to be there regardless. So uh, I've worked out two of the last three days. Worked out today for an hour in the hot sun after I walked a mile and a half with the wife and the two dogs. So. 
That's a home run. Yeah, I got to drop some weight, man. I need to get down to at least 220. And then, like, I'm at 235, 237. I wouldn't mind being 215 again. Would not mind being 215 again, but we'll see. God damn. All right, we got to get JoJo out because he's gotten rocked by two guys in a row. And we can't piss this game away. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Yeah, Nick Sandlin's coming in. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Nick this filthy ass slider. Look at that slider. <laughs> We're just gonna throw him three and see if we can strike him out on three pitches. Good job to fight that one off. Alright, fastball up and in. And now slider back away again. There we go. Dice. Dice diced him up. Nice and dice. Nice and dice. Let's go. Uh, here's Die Hard. Matt John McLean. There we go. Or hey, do you like my uh, my camera overlay? It's brand new. I had to change my camera back to uh, landscape instead of just being a square. Wow. Swing at that. Can't get that. Should have dove, but I don't want him getting hurt. All right. Get some more runs. Reds get one back on this solo dinger. It's now 4-2. We get done with the baseball part of the stream. I'll show you my new uh my new uh my new scenes for uh my Mizzou. My Mizzou uh college football 25 dynasty. We got some new pages. Already showed you guys my uh, thumbnail for the first episode on Twitter today. It's on my Discord too. Inside out that. Tosses the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's the left fielder. All right, Victor. Fly ball down the line. Tracks it down for the out. Yeah, I love making thumbnails. I'd make thumbnails for other people if they wanted me to. First pitch misses. One ball. Come on, Tommy Two Bags. Let's go. George, we've been crushed by injuries this year, and we're still the best team in baseball. This game's over, I'll show you. It's just fucking ridiculous. We have four pitchers out. Starting left fielder. Triple A first baseman. Of course he caught that. All right. And in comes Mr. Matsui. 082 ERA. He's 5 and 1. Pitches for the Padres in real life. They traded him to the Angels. And we traded them what very could very well could be the American League Rookie of the Year, third baseman Arelvis Martinez, and some other stuff to get Matsui. God damn! Got a quick giving up home runs to lefties with lefty pitchers. Ooh. 
next offering upstairs. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Late swing, fouled off. It's the second time he's grounded out to Arenado. For UCF, yeah. I uh, I can make you uh, stream backgrounds, like the backgrounds for your streams. Thumbnail. There we go. That's the third out. Hang on to win. Chris Cutliff this team secures a winning does the job. And that's the winner! That's the winner! You know that you're a winning ball club, so a little bit of pressure off. Good old Jack Buck. George, wait till you see our stats here. Our uh, rookie pitcher, Chris Cutliff, who uh, was our very first first-round pick. Six innings, five hits, one run, ten strikeouts. He's won three games, at least three games on this stream, I believe. And his ERA was even higher. He's really been working to get it down. And the guy he beat went second overall in the same draft. All right, so we are 82 and 45. We're guaranteed winning record. And we have a six and a half game lead on the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. 79 and 48. So we have a three game lead on the Rangers for the best record in baseball. Three games clear, the best record. All right, Nolan Gorman. We are in the middle of August, 40 home runs, 110, hitting 305. Walker's going to get 100 ribs. Naylor might get 100 ribs. Bybee could win 20. Traded from Manoa last time. Painter was rookie of the year last year. Was pitching great with him and took a ball off his head and had to leave the game. This is our rookie. Bueller was pitching great before he got hurt. He's got one to two weeks. Our closer got hurt, so I had to trade for Doval, who's been pitching like shit. And one of our setup guys got hurt. <laughs> Look at this. Donovan's out one to two months with a broken hand. Our AAA first baseman dislocated his ankle. He's out for the rest of the year. Bueller's back in one to two weeks. Cano back in one to six days. Romano back in one to two months. Who else is hurt? Jordan Montgomery tore his rotator cuff. He's out. No, I don't monitor him at all. I just go and see uh, how they're pitching. Because if they're doing great, I don't worry about their uh, pitch count. Which is my son, who's like 5'9". He would throw 120 pitches every fucking start, even in high school. He wasn't throwing 98 miles an hour, but he was throwing 120. It, Pitch, the number of pitches doesn't matter as much as the effort. Full effort will hurt you more than the number of pitches. Kikuchi's out. Louis Robert Robert, whoever you want to say his name. MCL. <laughs> Eli Morgan head fracture. Got hit head with a uh, line drive. Mitch Garver broke his ankle. C.J. Abrams broke a wrist. Griffin Canning separated his shoulder. Evan White tore his Achilles. Luis Angel Acuna tore his MCL. All right. Let's see. Corbin Carroll. Look at these two. The only thing separating them is their batting average, and Carroll's hitting a ridiculous 361. <laughs> Shohei is not going to win three MVPs in a row. Corey Seager's leading in the American League. Tanner Bybee leads Cy Young. JC. Can squeeze his way in there. There's Elvis Martinez. Used to be on our team. We traded him away to get Matsui. 
All right, let me save this so we don't lose progress. All right, so 12 game lead on the Pirates, 13 and a half on the Reds. And the Pirates, Diamondbacks, and Reds are fighting for a wild card along with the Marlins and the Phillies and the Braves. Braves might miss the playoffs, guys. What is up with the Braves? Acuna is regressing. It's in 316. Albies already has 31 home runs. Strider's doing okay. They don't have pitching. They don't have pitching. That's why. I mean, these guys are young, but bullpen's a little sus. Hmm. All right. Let's sim and finish up this series, see if we get the sweep. And we lose 15 to 6. Evan and Gorman with home runs. Manoa got yee, his worst start since we got him. Thompson and Miller, everybody got lit up that game. All right, whatever. You can see we've only lost three games the entire month. <laughs> All right, who do we want to... We're going to start another game here in Texas. So it's either Fromber or Bybee. And I'm leaning towards Fromber. So... So we'll play this game, and then we'll come down here. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. I wasn't supposed to play that game. I wasn't supposed to pitch this game. I was supposed to do it down here. Okay. Let me think. We could always not play the Rangers. We could play a home game against Colorado. We've already played Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. I don't want to play them both again. So we have to play either Texas or Colorado. If we play Texas, then we're going to sim out the rest of the month. We could probably do a player lock, I guess. Next month, I was planning on playing a game at Coors. A game against Atlanta. And then a game against the Dodgers. Because we shouldn't have to worry about these last six games. So we would like play this game, play that game, play... Friday, one of these Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe the day game in Dodger Stadium. We don't really want to play Colorado, right? You don't want to see me just light the shit on Colorado, right? You'd rather see me play Texas, a team we might play in the playoffs in a World Series, right? We well, got Corey Seeger and Evan White and Langford, right? You guys tell me. At Texas, home against Colorado. We're going to already play Colorado, so let's just play Texas. Fuck it. We'll just play Texas. Fuck it. Full game. Oh, yes. They're going to wear their City Connects. And we're going to wear the Baby Blues. Well, if it's overcast, we're going to close it. All right. Right handed pitcher. Has he played yet? Yeah. Man, two for five. All right, we're going to do this. I'm going to put Gorman at DH, place a JC at second. <clears throat> Over Burleson, just because I'd rather play with JC. He's probably going to take over for Arnado at third base next year. Or he'll play second and we'll move Gorman to third. That's what we're going to do. One of those two. Langford. Hello, Schwarber. They have Schwarber and Adolis Garcia. Looks like Corey Seager's getting a day off, guys. It's the lefty. Baseball from the Lone Stars take that. And here's so Texas's City Connect now. unis. Not bad. Today, Seen a lot worse. We were earlier about how he's doing a great job kind of digging the hat. Where's revamp at, man? I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure 
he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of... Got play center field. Let me see. ...and get his team back in the dugout. Oh, Schwarber's playing center? Oh, yeah. We should put Carter. Hell, I'd even put Adolis in center field over Schwarber. Tommy Teabags is going to run here. Down. Why would you slide? He slid so late. defense to make plays and slow them down that's exactly what they did right there so we'll see if that caught stealing changes if i ever did a uh a rangers franchise i would put him back in the ballpark in arlington because i do not like this stadium i just don't like this stadium at all i should have just figured out the cost to put a roof on the other stadium Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Two down, nobody on. And through, the there we go. It's through for a Tomahawk that through. Here's Nolan Gorman. Here's Nolan Gorman. Come on, Nolan. And runs batted in this year. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. He lost the home run derby by one home run to Judge. What a pitch. That that strikeout was set up by that last uh, pitch before the one I swung and missed. That one I took. Leading off, Wyatt Langford. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Wouldn't chase that time. Fought off foul. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Out to short, wind. Jump throw across his body. One gone, bottom half. Wind's got a cannon. The batter will be the shortstop, Taylor Walls. The shortstop. Oh, come on, dude. One out, base is empty. There's a strike. One and one. And that one missing low. Big swing and a miss. Two, two down. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. So many pitches. Back up the. Oh, that got him. Not in time. Oh, he He's safe. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Swing and a little roller right side. Got him. Win got wiped out. That'd be an automatic double play today. Watch this double play. See if they show it. He watched our shortstop get absolutely wiped out on this play. That'd be an automatic double play. I guess he dove over him, so I misspoke. All right, Nolan. Oh, way early. Second deck. Almost the upper deck. I keep that fair. That one fouled off. Slow roller to third. Reached. 
Tosses across the first. And quickly won away in the second. Jorge. You got a new bottle of Casamigos. This time it's a Nejo. Here's a hitter who's been strong in the clutch lately. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. <laughs> in there at the knees for a strike. Oh, you weren't in here earlier. We're going to play the month of August today, tonight. We're going to play the month of September tomorrow day. We're going to play our first round of the playoffs Friday night. And if we win that, we'll play the NLCS on Saturday. And if we win that, we'll play the World Series on Sunday at noon central. We're going to get the season over before college football comes out. Just get the slate. They'll do it again. So. And yeah, the righty deals. Way out in front. Way out in front. He's really good hitting the base. That was a good pitch. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Mason win. Is that going to be out of here? Back to the track to the wall. Let's go on. <laughs> a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing oh we got under it ball out to left Damn field Langford settles under this one and makes the play and that's out number three but they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot it's now one nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball. He's got a chance for 25. Right field. Now it's the veteran outfielder. Not bad for a shortstop. That one finds the zone. He's not known for his power. No, he doesn't have power, but he's uh, he's not a 30 home run guy like Seager. And that's the first out. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Come back to the mound. On the run. Look at Mason win range behind the bag in the outfield and throw him out. Yeah, Dulles. He just did it with his bat, and then he turns and does it with his glove and his arm the very next half inning. That was a quick inning. Gotta love that. That's like five pitches. Back in Arlington, All right, Wilson. And now the veteran catcher, Wilson Contreras. Mm, tardy. Tardy on an 89-mile-an-hour pitch. Said good, tidy, good timing. It felt tardy. There we go. That's a double. Let's go. Especially with Schwarber playing center field. Man, if I had speed at all, that'd be a triple. I love those high fastballs, man. Love them. Come on, Tommy. Ooh. Ooh. Pitch almost hit me, and I almost hit it inside the bag. I just swung at two shitty-ass pitches. Come on. Come on, Jay Walk. Jordan Walker. Over one so far. Chase it. Don't chase. Quit swinging at the first goddamn pitch. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner backed up on me. That was a nasty pitch. Up and in sinker. Looks like it's gonna be over the middle of the plate and ended up fisting it. All right, Josh. You got a 97 clutch with a man on second, so. I don't think he got that one. It's too high. All right, well, wasted chance. And we're back as we go to the last 
of the third. Here's the second baseman, Ezekiel Durant. That was a shot. One finds its way through. And a board on the leadoff single. Hell's play right field. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this. Lars, okay. Struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this oh. point is help his team win. Oh, Sam Buck in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Tying run is at first. Here in game one of this three. Made him reach. Thought he was getting a fastball. <laughs> Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And there in its own one. Rather, six, four, to second. three. Bounce into two already. This one ends the third. Woo! Inning, but no one left. Three. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the DH, Nolan Gorman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Look at that, 41 home runs, 111 RBI in the middle of August. Next offer in there for a strike. Strike one. All works right. And that one fouled off. Better get that pitch up. Over swing on a high sinker. All right, Nolan. Taking this pitch no matter what. Right through there for a strike. Arenado, more than 2,000 hits in his career. And he's a former National League gold glover. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Schwarber calls it in. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Lars Nukbaugh. That's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missing inside. Fights it off, you'll see another. Come on. Two outs. Get through. There we go. Make him throw more pitches. All right, Mason. You golfed that home run last time. Ooh. Try to do it again. I'll take back-to-back -back little flares up the middle. It'll work. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So two down. Now it's the second baseman, Thomas Sajazi. Ah! Popped up on the infield. Walls should have this one. High, high fastball, but we got way under it. So the cards. All right. Well. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Well, these Rangers just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Going two now. Ball one, one there. Two straight. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. High fly ball lifted <laughs> in the air right field. Just threw him three straight curveballs. it in for the out. And there's one down. Taylor Walls stepping in for the Rangers. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Just missed. Oh. 
rips one to right. That's a hook. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. It's all right. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit, and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And that one fouled off. Guess what's coming next? With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. So Jay-Z throws the first in. Bit too slow. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Fouled off. He was late. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Off the mark there. Ball one. Runner at second, two down. He's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. There we go. Change up. Got him. And the third out, so we take a break. Oh, yeah! Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. Back at Globe Life Field. Ready now for the fifth inning. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Dives, but it and he's going to be out. Low. He's able to win the race to the bag. And that's out number one on a tough play. That was a rocket. Absolute piss missile. And he knocks it down and gets him out. for the pitcher to feed it to. But he decides to get up and beat that base runner to the bag. Pretty impressive right there. Come on. That one to first. Watching the Cardinal game, and there's a show that came on after the game's over, and it's called The Card Life. And Matt Strom, the left handed pitcher for the Phillies, the reliever, he's hosted this show for like three years. He's looking at a bunch of old baseball cards right now. <clears throat> signed baseball cards too. Needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're gonna have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. First time I saw that show, he was pitching, I think, for Boston. Come on, dig, dig, get in there. There we go. Walker with a double. I think it was Boston. That was a rocket. All right, two on. I'm sorry, one on, two out. Oh fuck! Quit swinging at the first pitch. That's the third out. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia, and a pitch. That clips the zone. Strike one. That's in the dirt. Out to short win. It's his second straight time grounding out to win. Oh. Not facing Seeger is awesome. Don't want to have to face him. And my earbud just died. All right, here we go. Now that is Ezekiel Duran getting ready to hit. There's a strike. Next pitch into dirt. And it's a ball to strike. The Cards leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Get there, Lars. There we go. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Twelve outs to go, boys. Twelve outs to go. Need some more runs. Here's a big power threat. Nolan Gorman. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Wanted to get some air under that thing. That's all right. Just so sound in his mechanics. He's just hammering the ball up the middle on this guy. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. 
And the batter now, Nolan Arenado. You know, these Cardinals doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. And the pitch. Inside, just missed. Set on a crawl across the bottom of the Pirates have won seven straight <laughs> and there's still double digit games behind us. There we go, a little blooper, I'll take that. <clears throat> New pitcher. Here we got Jacob DeGrom coming out of the pen. He's regressed down to a 75. He's pitching well out of the pen. Home runs are a bit high for his innings. Ray Healy Gaming, welcome in. I just hit him with double play as I said hi. Welcome, welcome. And that kind of crushed that rally. Come on, Mason. Let's go, let's go. Inner half, come on. Inner half. Quit throwing that shit out here. I want one right in here. Yeah. All right, got to keep pitching well. Got to keep doing it. Bottom two, then top of the order. I'll take two pitch out. Thank you very much. What was that? He swung at that pitch to keep from getting hit. <laughs> wow. All right. Curveball down and in. And here it comes. That's foul off to the right side. Cutter up and in. Two out spaces empty. Foul ball. Change up low and away. On the ground at first. Here we go. Still one nothing through six. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now up for St. Louis, Thomas Sajazi. Not swinging. He's come up twice with men on base, and both times I swung at the first pitch, and both times I popped out. Just let him take a few pitches here. Ah. Also getting ready. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Get him. All right. I'll take that. Back to the top of the order. Come on, Tommy. Two bags. Try to pull my hands in and drive it to right. Foul it off the left. And he deals. Gets a 
piece there. We'll do it again. Just get a piece. Come on. No double play. Right into the play. And the one two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. So two down now, and here is Jordan Walker. With Chase that time. There we go. That might score us a run. Nope. Nope. That's Contreras running. Had to hold him up. All right, Josh. Base hits. Two more runs. He's only got 58 pitches through six. Okay, I'll take that. All right. Get the fuck out of my joint. Back at Globe Life Field, ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the DH. No. Oh, and that one oh what a first. snag. George Hugh, welcome in. So digging in, Nolan Arenado. One for three. Ah, oh, quit swinging at that first pitch. Rolls across the diamond. Two up, two down here in the top. Mining guys that come in late. This is the month of August. We're playing September tomorrow day. Playing the first round of the playoffs Friday night. We win that. We play the NLCS on Saturday. We win that. We play the World Series on Sunday so we can get this season over before college football comes out on Monday because I will be streaming Monday when the game goes live. So. <clears throat> Six days in a row. Mm, good pitch. I was looking outside. Back in Arlington, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Sixty nine pitches through seven. And ball one. Ball into 
this eighth inning of work singing, he's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Just off the inside edge. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. He takes a strike. Lifted in the air, right center. Come on, Newt, get there. Far on the move. Makes the grab one away. Down the third baseman, Josh Young. And foul off. One down, base is empty. Line drive, put the extra bases. Throw comes into second. Not going to get him, he's in there. All over that one right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. So the tying run is second. Ah, shit. That's going to be a tie game. <sighs> kind of hung that hung that uh, cutter, didn't I? Sam Hawk now at the plate. And there's a curve through for a strike. With the go ahead run standing at second for the bottom half of the eighth inning. Newt Bar moves under it. He's got it. And there's two down. Reese Hoskins digs in now. Right through there for a strike. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position here in game one of this three game set. On the ground to the left, down the line, and it's foul. He's fallen three. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Now into the game, Marcus Simeon. He's Simeon's playing third? third? Okay. Mason Wynn getting ready to hit. DeGrom back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Go get that ball through. I know win is really, really good, but eighty nine speed is not ninety nine speed. We'll put Victor in center and move Tommy to short. We need to steal our way into second base here. Down. Bullshit. set for the bottom of the ninth and now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter Wyatt Lankford back to right new bar moves under it makes the grab one down I mean his pitch efficiency ability to get ahead and count at times pitch to contact but the defense work behind him that's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning toss to Naylor and there's two away you just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about 
that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That's why we put him in center field. <laughs> 99 speed can cover a lot of ground. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Tommy Edmund. Ah, don't swing at garbage like that. And out number one on the ground. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Walker yeah, and the box now. with one away as he takes ball one. Base is empty one away here in the top half of the tent. This oh, one missed it. The air to left missed it. He's under it. Two down. Josh Naylor next up for the Cardinals. That's in there. It's 0 1. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. That's a little bit low. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and that one missed. The fuck was that? Man, that was pretty gross right there. Just got a piece of that. Here's a one-two. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Oh. Got me reaching. Down in order. We're in extras here. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. That's in there. One one. Just missed. And there's the knees. And the count one and two. And here's a slow roller. And he grabs it in front. Bell boy, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Sweaty ass game going here in extra innings. Get up and throw him out. Go. Best team in the National League. It's the best team in the American League. Possible. Possible World Series look up here. Man, he can close ground. Holy shit. Woo, I thought that was by him for sure. They would have gotten the potential winning run on base, maybe even in the scoring position, but that's just one of those hang with them. There's a strike. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Back up the middle and a base hit. So a two-out knock, and that mm. puts the winning run on first. But we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job. It's time to get him out. Skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Romber Valdez won't go any further. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Nick Sandler. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. In the dirt. To second, but way too late, safe there. And now. A man into scoring position. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. And that one handled. Throws the All right, piss around that. Let's go. We got 11 hits and only one run, and that was the home run by win. Come on, Nolan. Nolan Gorman. Guess DeGrom's just going to pitch the rest of the game in relief. Chase 
Left hand hitter waits. Oh, that's Whoa, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Mm, trying to take that to left field. And it's three and one. That one misses. Take that walk. Thank you very much. I don't think you really wanted to pitch to him right there. Come on, Nolan. No ground balls. Runner at first. Nolan Arenado will hit next. And that one fouled off. Hmm. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. The 0-2. And yeah, there's the ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Better than a double play. Come on, Newt. And it's one and one. Well, he's really working him away. This at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that. Ooh, that might be out of here, boys. That might be it. Oh, close. Did not carry as much as I thought. I mean, he hit it well. Hit it well. Strikeout pitcher. something special right here it's gonna have to happen with two strikes hit hard, that gets through throw comes in and the winning run stops 90 feet from home nobody out Center field. Squeezes it. Runner tags it from third. Oh, 
Well, we pissed that game away by not getting hits earlier. Fuck. That was a great game by uh, Valdez. Absolutely great game. Look at this. 9 and 2 thirds, 6 hits, no walks, 1 run, 5 Ks. Oh well. Bybee and win. All right, we got Cano back in the pen. And, uh, we lost three to two. Gorman with a home run. Bybee pitched well. Barlow lost it. And Barlow is going to get sent down to AAA because Cano is ready. All right. Are we going to get swept by Texas and lose four in a row? Yes. Look at that. We won three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen out of sixteen, and then lost four in a row. Swept. Painter got lit up. And we still have a ten game lead on the Reds. All right. All right. We'll sim through these games. Might do a player lock or two. Cutliff, see if he can win at home in the sim. Oh, lost three to two. That's five straight losses. Manoa. Hey, we get a nine to three win. Burleson with a home run. Mason Miller with the save. Clinton Tharp. That's another draft pick. What does he throw? Right. We're going to play a lock with Nolan Gorman. All right. Their lineup is nothing scary. They don't even have Nolan Jones anymore. So. Here's Nolan Gorman. Comes into this one. Torres with a home run. Walker with a home run. That's down and in. This hitter lost Man on one out. Pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. This is a guy that was uh, computer-generated draft pick. It's Clinton Tharp. That catches the top part of the zone. And the count, one and two. Just got a piece of that. Wind's blown out. Get that through. There we go. Then the inning. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds 
Hicks at second with one gone. He was all over that one. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one. Come on, Nolan. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away now. Uh, he was hitting 290 something. He's really struggling this month. And up next All right. St. Louis, Lars Three and one. Come on, Lars. And they're all loaded. Up. And they're loaded. Who's up? Mason win with the bases loaded. Let's go. The moments with everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And now Mason get down, get down, get down. Nope. Nope. He's got it. And that'll end. So here's the cleanup hitter. No now we're losing two to one. And he's already singled in this game. And ah. that is lifted in the air. Just missed that. Under it. And there's one down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. First offering misses back. This guy's got a funky one. motion. That one the other way. Amador slings it across, out with room to spare, and that's the. Well, hey, there we go, Burleson. Here's the second. Two-run homer, Walker with an RBI. Got the lead. New pitcher. Oh, didn't get that. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And we're up six to four. Two on, two out. Arenado with a home run. Swing a miss. And it's 0 and 1. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it. We know what you mean. Foul mm, ball hit that hard, but way early. Here comes the pitch. Oh. Up and in. One and two to count. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he does. Oh. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they lead. Got the dub, though. Not because of anything I did. Walker, Arenado, Burleson home runs. Fromber pitched okay. <clears throat> Mason Miller gets the win. Two out of three there. All right. Pirates. <clears throat> they're 10, 8. So they're nine games back. Is that right? No, 11 games back. Can't add. All right. Bybee and Mitch Keller. And we get the win. Three to two. Naylor and Henry Davis. Davis homers off his former team. Bybee pitched well. Matsui blew the save, but Duvall got the win. Zach Eflin, Andrew Painter. That was the first game we pitched. This one right here. And we lose 3 to nothing this time. We beat him 3 nothing that time. Painter pitched okay. Not bad. Not as good as Eflin. And Cutliffe and Libertor. That was the matchup right up here when we won 12 to 1. So let's see. Cutliffe. Give him the win. Walker and Rangifo, he's 10 and 7 now, 428 ERA. Does that put him in the Rookie of the Year award race? Hmm. Gorman, Walker, he just needs two RBI. Nathan Church, two for five. Newt. All right, pitching wise, 13 and seven, 15 and two, 11 and 10, most of that coming with Toronto. Painter, nine and 11, 10 and seven. Walker, one to six days, he'll be back. 
we might send Painter to the miners. He's got, he hasn't used any options. We might send him down to get him straightened out. <clears throat> Mason Miller, 100 innings in relief. Romano, three to four weeks. Let's check our injuries again. Um, he's out for the year. Broken hand, still one to two months. Shit, we might, he might not play the rest of the regular season. He's hitting 304 with 15 home runs. Definitely need his bat at the top of the order. All right, we're going to send these two games and we're going to be done, guys. Then I'll be back tomorrow during the day, sometime between 10 Central and noonish. I don't know, somewhere in there. Depends on uh, what time I get up and how quick I'm going to jump on and get playing. Um, but we're going to play daytime tomorrow, nighttime Friday. So Friday would be first round of the playoffs. So let's sim these and see. Alec Manoa gets a 4-1 to one win. Newt Barr and Walker with home runs. Manoa pitches great, bounces back. Gives a 12-game lead over the Pirates and the Reds. Six-game lead over the Dodgers for the National League lead. And the last day of August, Walker Bueller comes back. Well, that's perfect timing. All right, so we lost 5-2. to two. Hunter Green pitched well. Gorman homered. Valdez, eh. But, but, September call-ups. So now I already have an extra pitcher, right? Walker Bueller came off the DL, and we don't have to send anybody down. <laughs> That'll shift somebody else to the bullpen, though. Probably Painter. And they'll keep Painter in the majors. And we can flip-flop. Or me. That way we don't have to bring up another reliever. <clears throat> we do need to call up somebody else. 30 man roster. What do we got? Don't need Tink. What's Tink doing down there? Six and three with a 234. He's tearing it up. Don't need to bring him up. Don't need to bring up Barlow or Roby or him. He's injured. We got, we could add somebody to the 40 man. <laughs> well, let's let's uh, move him to the majors. Put him in double A. Gives us an extra outfielder. And if Donovan comes back, we'll send him down and put Donovan on the roster. Donovan still has one to two months, so. All right, we have an 11 game lead over the Reds, 11 and a half over the Pirates. I have one game left in the series and we'll do that tomorrow. Already said we're gonna play a game here in Colorado. We're gonna play a game against the Braves. And then we're gonna play one of these weekend games against the Dodgers. 
because we're not going to need to worry about these last games down the stretch here. And I can juggle our rotation to make sure we have our top guys going first three games of the uh, first round that we're in. They'll all have plenty of rest. I can get it all set up, get the bullpen set up. So... Hopefully we get uh, Donovan back before the season's over. I would really hate to play the playoffs without Donovan. <clears throat> so, all right, league leaders. Nimmo hitting 360. Carroll slumped off a little bit. Look at Luis Campusano hitting 314. American League, Evan Carter, 327. Hits, 189, 173. Gunner already has 51 doubles, so does Julio. Pete Crow. Guys, if you're playing with the Rockies, trade for Pete Crow and put him in center field and you don't have to worry about somebody covering the ground. Uh, triples. Chirio already has 13. Seager with 36. Gorman with 43. Carroll with 41. Matt McLean with 31? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Gorman with 115. Shohei with 100 runs. Trey Turner, 35. SD Ruiz, 38. Carroll slugging 700. Bybee and Lazardo with 15 wins. There's a lot of guys. Christian Javier with 17. 42 saves for Helsley and Abreu. 44 for Tanner Scott. Garcia, 236. Kramer, 239. Nola leads the National League. Five shutouts by Nola. Spencer with 200 Ks already. McClanahan's, McClanahan's going to be a free agent, guys. Oh, I want this guy so bad. Evan Carter, 8.8 .8 war. Corbin Carroll, 10.4. Shit. All right. Let's save this and raid out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Everybody that uh, followed and all the uh, pimps that came in and hung out with me today, Foy Niner, Lou, Jimmy, Specta, Franchise, Tight Spot, Danny, I saw you on there too. Let's see who we can read out to, you guys. Getting close to football. Let's go. Um, you guys have anybody you want to read to? If you do, throw it in chat. Oh, before we read out here. Before we raid out, I'm going to show you some new screens for NCAA when it comes out next week. All right, you ready? This is my starting soon screen for college football. I get a new song because Mr. Hurricane stole my intro song to my streams to use for Ryan Helsley's intro music when he comes in the game. So we have a new intro song for football. Here you go. All right, live screen, I have a new outline. It's in yellow, gold, and black as opposed to the blue and green that I was doing for baseball. Got a new background. 
Okay, let me turn off the window capture. <laughs> there you can see that's the uh, new, that's the Mizzou football stadium after they put the new addition on the north end of the stadium. My new just chatting screen. Mm. My be right back with music. Texas Blues. Anyway, we're ready for football, boys. We're ready. Get this fucking going. Uh, nobody wants to raid. We can send you to Daddy Dimu if you want to go to Daddy Dimu. He's got 864 people watching him. So let's go raid him. What the fuck? Might as well. Raid you off to a big stream. He's playing MLB. All right. I'm going to start this raid. And when you guys are ready, head on over there. And I will see you tomorrow day, Friday night, Saturday day or night, and hopefully Sunday day for the World Series. So you guys have a good rest of the night. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I know I'll see you Monday. So you guys take care. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you later on. Okay.